Hey y'all, it's Mary, and this is Friday Night Gab, and Smudge just came up here. Camille is laying down right here, so he was a little hesitant, but he came on up. You wanna say hey, Smudge? How are y'all doing, y'all? Did you have a good weekend? <laughs> a good week? I have, I don't know what's wrong. It's not working, it's not working right. Did you have a good week? <laughs> Um, it's felt like two or three weeks to me since Easter, but it's just, Easter was last weekend. Did y'all enjoy that? Did y'all have a nice Easter? I know a lot of you all told me you had a really nice Easter, and I did as well. Mine was very quiet, but that was very nice with me. We've had some storms this week, and we've had some gorgeous weather. Um, they will come by, and then the fur gets stuck on my lipstick. <laughs> um, Camille's still right here. Um, it is... It's been absolutely beautiful the last few days, and I think and spring is definitely here. We might have a frost here and there, you know that that's uh, that's normal this time of year. I might have to, yeah. How was your weather this week? And I know a few of y'all have had snow, and we had a storm system here. I think it was Tuesday, because it, it was it was so bad. They told us that I went home early from work, and that went from the south where I'm at all the way up north and got them with snow. So um, some people, you know, didn't even have much snow and then they got a big chunk of it. So I knew with this crazy winter, we were gonna have some crazy spring. So <laughs> here we are, but I've got a bunch of things blooming. In fact, if y'all have um, seen my, any several of my videos this weekend, maybe, I mean, this, why do I keep saying weekend? I'm anxious for the weekend, I guess. It is the weekend. Um, this past week, if you have seen any of my videos, they may have ended with some beautiful things um, from my yard. And heck, I thought I got all that off. Now it's now it's back. Um, I um, filmed a couple of y'all asked me about what I filmed or recorded in my yard. So um, I did find some tulips. So I did say that in, in, when I showed that clip. Um, then you, you would have seen a dog in my Mask Monday uh, video from this week. At the end, um, it started with tulips, then there was my dogwood. And that usually always, that tree usually always blooms for Easter. And my dogwood doesn't look very hardy. Um, it, uh, I've seen others that are much more hardy, but it, it's not a big, you know, it's not like thick and bushy kind of a, tr of a tree. But it's, it's old looking and it, it looks like it's never going to, um, bloom and then it does and it usually blooms in time for Easter and then after that the next clip is a, my Japanese maple so that's a gorgeous it's a maple tree it is short and it like short and wide you know and it's a gorgeous um, reddish color and it's called Japanese maple and um, the next thing that was on on the end of that video is the snowball bush that I have and it's very tall, it's way taller than my house, it's huge. Um, the lady that built this house had a real green thumb and she planted all kinds of fabulousness on this property. And um, what's still left after tornadoes, um, I uh, really love. And the snowball bush is fantastic. It comes up, it's, it, it starts with green leaves and then you see green balls and then they start to turn white in just a matter of a couple of days. And um, they don't, the, the snowballs don't last very long on there. And then of course, if there's a storm or winds are all, you'll see it looks like it has snowed below it. Um, but they're gorgeous. They're big giant balls of uh, gorgeousness. They, they look like hydrangea, but it's not, it's a tree. It's a, it's a bush. And I can tell it's not a hydrangea because the leaf is different than a hydrangea. I do have hydrangea also. But what that, um, snowball bush is called. It's Viburnum opalus, also called um, Gilder rose. So um, it, different areas call them different things, but that's what I could find when I googled it. And it's just gorgeous and phenomenal. And um, I have the biggest one in the area that I that I've seen. I, they everybody has them. Not everybody. A lot of people have them, but they keep them low, and it's just gorgeous. And um, it's also called a Chinese snowball bush. Um, and I do have hydrangea, but they haven't bloomed yet. Um, they are still, hydrangea um, uh, die down in the winter 
and um, cut them back and then the greens will start to grow and then the flowers will start come up, coming up. And on one side of my house, those are white hydrangea, green, greenish white. And it depends, I have several different kinds. I, so um, I have big giant ones that look like snowballs. And then I have some that are cone shaped and I forget, oak leaf hydrangeas. Those are called oak leaf hydrangeas. And then in the front of my house, I have the blue um, that is, it, it has shades of like pink and blue and purple in them. They're gorgeous. But those hydrangea flowers last longer than the snowball bush, at, which is out back. So anyway, just wanted to tell you about that because a few people asked me. Um, and, um, you know, so tell me about your weather and tell me about, are you, things blooming by you? I know that, a lot, you know, up north things might not be blooming yet. Um, here, you know, there's evergreens. We have evergreens all across the country and we have a lot of them here and I love them. I have a lot of things that are green year round um, and I just love the green leaves. I love to see the green and my grass um, is not coming in yet. Um, I have weeds first and then here soon, a week or two, I'll start to have grass but I have to have the weeds cut. Hey, Blue, Blue's trying to come up now. Oh, come on. Anyway, anyway, too much about the garden, but tell me about your garden if you'd like to. I'd love to hear about it. If people, I know some of y'all are gardeners. I'm not a gardener. Um, I, I'm i not, but I love, the, I love the way it looks. It's beautiful. Oh, Camille. Blue wanted to come over and she, she put her hand up to him. See, there she is. She's like, come on, Blue, she's leaving. You can come over. Anyway, y'all, um, I had a Stitch Fix video this week and I did send an email to them because I liked everything in my fix and um, I wanted to try a couple of the blouses seemed a little big on me and I wanted to try a couple of smaller blouse, you know, the one size smaller. And I asked them how they do that because I wanted to get the, the discount. If I'm buying it all, I want to get the discount. And they said that they would send those things out. In the meantime, I could keep the others because if I if the smaller size is too small, I'm going to keep the bigger size. And I didn't think about the sweater, that fabulous sweater that I love. I've been wearing it because it's been cool in the mornings here. And um, it's, too, it's too big, but I think I've worn it a couple times, so it's probably too late to swap it. I don't know. I could email them and ask them. I need to. I need to email them and ask them. But um, those are supposed to be on the way, the um, new things. And then when I get the new things, I'll send back the whichever ones I don't keep, I'll send back. Um, so uh, they're very, very friendly and helpful. And um, it doesn't, it, and they won't, they're not going to charge me shipping, which I think is really cool. So I just, I really, Stitch Fix for me is very convenient and I've gotten a new wardrobe out of it and I really enjoy what I get from them. Um, and then also, are you all liking the Birch Box? Um, I, my first box was fantastic. Out of the five items, I got three or four full size. I forget now, but um, this current box that I got, I had a couple of full size in there also. So that's very nice. And I'm just, um, I'm liking it. So we'll see how it goes. I mean, I, I signed up for a year, so I'll be getting it for a year as long as they um, keep their end of the bargain up, so to speak. Um, and since they revamped, I think they've done a really good job. I like to be able to, um, customize everything. I think that's really fun. So I don't really have a lot much more than that. I do have my treasure trove giveaway is going on. I have a couple of other giveaways going on and a lot of y'all don't know about them. Um, I really appreciate y'all very, very much. I tell you that a lot and I really mean it. Um, but y'all know some of y'all, I shouldn't say y'all, I don't mean it like I'm going to scold. Now I sound like I'm a scolding teacher, but that's cause that's what it feels like. But a lot of y'all don't watch the whole videos. So you don't know that I have giveaways going on. So, um, it's really your loss because if you want to win a giveaway from me, you've got to pay attention. Um, but and I'm not trying to be mean or ugly. I'm just saying, um, you know, what keeps, um, YouTube happy, who knows? because they're horrible to me. I don't I don't like YouTube. I like this, I like my channel, and I like you guys. And I like a lot of my friends that have channels. I love them, I'm so grateful to know them. 
I'm so grateful to have met them. There's so many of y'all that I'm so grateful to have met. And I feel like we're a big family. I really do. And I appreciate y'all very, very much. But um, YouTube doesn't do anything to help me that I can, that I can see. Um, they uh, won't even talk to me when I ask them questions. And it's very upsetting. And I, that's, I need your support. I need your support. And part of that is I need you to watch the, my videos. And I need you to give me thumbs up. And I need you to subscribe. And I need you to share me out and get your friends to subscribe. And I just, even if you, I'm doing fine. Uh, I have a lot of watch hours, I'm happy to say. But, um, you know, I need y'all to watch me. And um, commenting is good and liking is good. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Even if you give me a thumbs down, give me a thumbs down. Because it's, um, that's what they say. Um, it is, um, you know, you're working with my channel and that they say makes YouTube happy. I don't think anything can make them happy, but I'm just saying, I'm just in a bad mood about YouTube. So, because I've been trying to talk with them and they just don't answer any, they're just like all these companies that I have trouble with. They will not speak American. That's the best way to say it. They speak English, but they're not from the United States, so they don't understand why I do not like what they're saying to me. <laughs> they're copying and pasting from the help section. I've read the help se section. I know what it says. I want someone to examine my channel and tell me why certain this one thing happened. I want to know why, and they will not do it. Anyway, okay. So look for my giveaways, y'all. And um, I am going to tell you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing um, this ColourPop uh, palette. This is one of a set. This was a set of five, I think. And um, when I got my last ColourPop mystery bundle, there were four of these in four different ones in that box. This one was not in that box. I'm pretty sure, right? But I had it. So I wanted to show it to you. I mean, I did show it to you at the time. So I do use this. I love this. You can see I use it. I love purples. Purples are purples and neutrals. Browns are my favorites. So that's what I'm wearing. And this is called On a Wing Press Powder Palette. And it's really cute the way it op you know, it's, it's opens really co cool. It's cute. And then on my lips, I have um, the Hourglass. Love the Hourglass lipsticks. They're very, very nice. There it is there. This is a refillable. I got my first refill refillable in FabFitFun. And I think I got one in BoxyCharm, I think. But they are refillable. I haven't gotten the refills because both companies sold just like two or three colors that I are, you know, I have two. So, you know, how many, I don't need more of this color. Um, this is called I Am. And that is what I have on. And I love it. It feels really, really good. It's just, uh, yeah, it's nice and moisturizing. And this is just a beautiful component. And that's what I have on. And y'all, I did want to um, say a few extra things to you that, um, you know, I tell you all to count your blessings. I really mean that. For me, it helps me through my day. Um, things can get very down and depressing for a lot of us, whether it's the winter time and now spring is coming, so that might perk us, some of us up. I have that. They call it um, SA, SAD. They call it SAD. Seasonal Affective Disorder. I have that. So wintertime can really bother me. The darkness bothers me. Some people have seasonal affective disorder and other seasons will bother them. But for me, it's winter. It's, yeah, it's winter. And um, uh, counting my blessings. Sometimes, no matter how small, no matter how small. And sometimes we don't even, sometimes we think we have nothing to be thankful for, nothing, no blessings at all. But if you just think you're, I'm sitting right here. I have a, t a phone that I can pay my phone bill each month. That's a blessing. Um, you know, I'm filming. I'm not filming. I'm recording. <laughs> Whatever it's called. I say it wrong every time. I have a house. I don't own my house. I have a mortgage, um, but I'm able to pay my mortgage. Hopefully that will continue. I have a vehicle that gets me to and from 
my job. I have gorgeous pets that I adore and that they seem very happy with me, very important to me. Um, so, you know, I have, I mean, even if you go so far, I have, um, I was going to say something silly, like I have toilet paper, you know, <laughs> um, sometimes that's all we need <laughs> is to just be happy that we have a couple of things in our house we can use if we're having a really bad time and we don't, we, we think we have a miserable life. We don't have any friends. We don't, you know, our, um, so-and-so is mad at me. Uh, my job sucks, I, you know, or whatever, <laughs> whatever you think. My car's on the blitz, whatever the, the thing, whatever the things might be. Think about the good things. You can, you can list five good things every day. In fact, if you are a person that has trouble counting your blessings, start your little journal. And every day before you go to bed, write down five things that you are, that you Consider a blessing that you are grateful for because you can come up with you can come up with 500 things if you really think about it, but you can come up with five things, even if it is just something simple like your husband puts the, the toilet seat down, you know, even if that's it, that's a blessing. And that is something to be grateful for. That's something to be grateful for. I would I would be grateful for that if that happened in my life. So you know, and then, then I, you know, be grateful for your relationships. And um, there's just so much to be grateful for and so much that we need to count as our blessings. And um, with that goes, use your good stuff and pray for each other. Pray, pray, pray. If, you, if you're not a praying person, you know, whatever you do to um, just give thanks. Give thanks and, um, uh, you know, wish uh, well wishes for your for your family and friends and for your subscriber people and your channels that you love and that's it i'm done i'm done i'm off my soap soapbox and i want to thank you all for being here and i'm just noticing my hair i need my i need a haircut anyway y'all have a fabulous weekend and i hope that it's spring by you and um y'all take care love y'all bye bye